Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a Tesla Model Y performance, as well as learn about the other Tesla Model Y configurations along the way. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The most affordable Model Y will have a base price of $39,000 and a 230-mile battery range, but customers will have to wait until at least 2021 to own one of the five-seater SUVs. Tesla will first sell more expensive versions of the Model Y, with prices starting from $47,000 to $60,000 and offering more battery range. Those will ship starting in 2020, according to the company, there are additional charges for Tesla's autopilot software, a third row of seats, and colors other than black. A panoramic glass roof comes standard. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the Tesla Model Y. They have a really cool little overview page where they're going to take us through several modules. We can see that here. Safety, utility, all-wheel drive, range, autopilot features, interior, specs, and then, of course, we can do our build and price. So we're going to go through all of those, um, all of those uh, headings. We're going to go through all those, learn all about those features. And at the end, we're going to do a build and price. So they're saying here, designed for safety. Like every Tesla Model Y is designed to be the safest, safest vehicle in the class. The low center of gravity, rigid body structure, and large crumple zones provide unparalleled protection. So they're showing the impact protection here, right? With there, no, with there being no engine here, the, they can really brace up this front end with there being no engine. Uh, here's the rigid structure, and then, of course, the low center of gravity, and you got all those heavy batteries down there. So the chance of this thing rolling over is really low. Uh, yeah, that's as far as the design. Hey, real quick, before I forget, you know, I've done a few other Teslas. So I'm going to put a link up to my uh, Tesla playlist. And you want to go check those out because I did the 2019 Model X 100D. Pretty nice vehicle. Kind of changed my mind about Teslas. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, let's learn about the utility of the Tesla Model Y. It says room for up to seven adults with optional third row, which we know you have to pay additional for. Uh, versatile seating and storage for cargo and passengers. And then easy access to the trunk makes loading and unloading convenient. Model Y provides maximum versatility, able to carry seven passengers and their cargo. Each second row seat folds flat independently, creating flexible storage for skis, furniture, luggage, and more. The liftgate opens to a low trunk floor that makes loading and unloading easy and quick. Now, their all-wheel drive, they call dual motor. Tesla all-wheel drive has two ultra-responsive independent electric motors that digitally control torque to the front and rear wheels. For far better handling, traction, and stability control, Model Y is capable in rain, snow, mud, and off-road. So, yeah, two independent motors. This thing will do 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. That's legit quick. And, yeah, it's capable in all kinds of weather, rain, snow, mud. It doesn't matter. You know, here's the deal. People think that all-wheel drive is only for inclement weather, bad weather. It improves the handling and performance of a car in all situations, even in dry, even in the middle of the summer. You're driving on a road like we see this car going around right now. All-wheel drive improves the handling and performance of the vehicle, just as a blanket statement. All right, let's learn about the range of the Tesla Model Y. It says Model Y is fully electric, so you never need to visit a gas station again. If you charge overnight at home, you can wake up to a full battery every morning. And when you're on the road, it's easy to plug in along the way. At any public station or with the Tesla charging network, we currently have over 12,000 superchargers worldwide with six new locations opening every week. They say that you never need to go to a gas station. But what if you have to stop and put air in your tires? Can you stop at a gas station for that? Or what's the deal? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so they tell you 300 miles, the longest electric range of any sport utility vehicle on the road, 15 minutes. It says recharge 168 miles in 15 minutes at supercharger locations. You better hope you live by one then, huh? And then they have 12,000 plus locations, and they're putting up, well, a bunch every day. There's literally six new locations opening up every week, they tell us. 
Let's learn about the autopilot features of the Tesla Model Y. It says the future of driving. All new Tesla cars come standard with emergency braking, collision warning, blind spot monitoring, and more. Model Y has a will have full self-driving capability, enabling automatic driving on city streets and highways pending regulatory approval, as well as the ability to come find you anywhere in a parking lot. That's really cool. All right, so here's a few things they're telling us that this vehicle can do. 360 degrees, rear, side, and forward-facing cameras provide maximum visibility. And then it says 160 meters. Forward-facing radar provides a long range, 160 meters, view of distant objects. And then there's 12 ultrasonic sensors that will help you, what, detect nearby cars, prevent potential collisions, and even assist with parking. Okay, let's check out the interior of the Tesla Model Y. It says built around the driver. With an elevated seating position and low dash, the driver has a commanding view of the road ahead. The interior of Model Y is simple and clean with a 15-inch touchscreen, immersive sound system, and an expansive all-glass roof that creates extra headroom and provides a seamless view of the sky. So, yeah, they're talking about the glass roof. There's a 15-inch touchscreen. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, that is gorgeous. Now, on the Model, uh, on the model X, it's longitudinal. It's, it's, it's taller, not so much a portrait view. I'm sorry, this is more of a landscape view. On the Model X, it's more of a portrait straight up and down. Like I said, check that out. I'm going to put a link up to it right now so you can just check the video out directly. Okay, so it looks like they're going to show us some different trim levels here. They're, telling, they're showing us the Model Y specs. And so we can see there's a few toggles here. There's the performance, there's a long-range rear-wheel drive, there's a long-range all-wheel drive, and then there's a standard range. So the performance, which is we're going to do a build-in price of today, comes with 20-inch wheels. It's got long-range battery. It does 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. It's got a max cargo volume of 66 cubic feet. It's got a range of 280 miles. That's estimated. Top speed of 150 miles an hour. It's got a dual-motor all-wheel drive. It's got that 15-inch center touchscreen that we just saw. Seats up to seven adults. And it's got it does, you can do supercharging, but it's pay-per-use. That's the deal there. Oh, you can expand the list. What does that do? What that did was told, tell us a little more features about this particular model. But we're going to get to that in just a second. So we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. So that was the performance. Let's check out the long range. Now, the long range, it says it's got 18 or 19-inch wheels. It does 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. It gets a 300-mile range. It's rear-wheel drive. It's got a top speed of 130 miles an hour. And the long range all-wheel drive. Now, when you get to the all-wheel drive, it looks like the best they can do on range is 280 miles. The long-range all-wheel drive does 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, 18 or 19-inch wheels. Yeah, and then we got the standard range. Wow, the standard range is pretty weak, 230 miles, top speed of 120 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds, and you get uh, your selection of 18 or 19-inch wheels, it looks like. Okay, before we get to the build-in price of our performance, Let's look at all the trim levels of the Tesla and see what comes standard. So we were just taking a look at what? We were just taking a look at the standard range Tesla Model Y. And when I hit expand list, it tells us that it has a premium interior. It has 12-way power adjustable front and rear heated seats, three independently folding second row seats, premium audio, that's 14 speakers, a subwoofer, two amps, an immersive sound. It's got satellite view maps with live traffic, visual, visualization, and navigation, in-car internet streaming music and media, internet browsing, location-aware automatic garage door opener, interesting, LED fog lights, tinted glass roof, auto-dimming power folding heated side mirrors, music and media over Bluetooth, custom driver profiles, and center console with storage, four USB ports, and docking for two smartphones. Now, that is the... The base model, standard range, Model Y. Okay, real quick, as I looked ahead, as I looked ahead, it, it looks like no matter which Tesla Model Y you get, whether it's a performance, a long-range rear-wheel drive, or a standard, these are the standard set of interior features, or in just the features that these vehicles come with. So it didn't change uh, depending on which one I clicked. It's all the same. All right, so that said, let's move on to our build, all right? And we'll learn a little bit more because I did look ahead. So we'll get a little bit more information. Okay, so here we are on the page where we get to select which Model Y we want to build. You've got your long-range model, uh, Model Y. 
It starts at $42,700. It has a 300-mile range. It does, it does 130 miles an hour for your top speed, and it does 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. They're telling us that the standard range production is expected to begin in early 2021. So you're not going to be able to get a standard Model Y looking like to about 2021. Now, you come over to the dual motor all-wheel drive, see, because that's a rear-wheel drive version. You come over to the dual motor all-wheel drive, now you got the long range here. That drops you down to 280 miles as your range. Your top speed is 135 miles an hour. Your 0 to 60 is 4.8 seconds. What do they have to say? Your MSRP on the dual motor uh, all-wheel drive Model Y starts at $46,700. They tell us Tesla all-wheel drive has two independent motors. Unlike traditional all-wheel drive systems, these two motors digitally control torque to the front wheel wheels for far better handling and traction control. Your car can drive on either motor, so you never need to worry about getting stuck on the road. If one motor stops working, you can safely continue to your destination with the second motor. Again, they're letting us know that the standard production doesn't start till 2021. And yeah, the MSRP on that, 46.7. Then we've got the performance model, which we're going to build in price here in just a second. It's got a range of 280 miles an hour, or 280 miles. It has a top speed of 150 miles an hour, and it does 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Now, the Model Y performance features include quicker acceleration, uh, a higher top speed. It gets the 20-inch performance wheels. It gets performance brakes, has a carbon fiber spoiler. It's got lowered suspension, aluminum alloy pedals, and it even has a track mode, this vehicle. And, yeah, they just talk about the all-wheel drive again, and we know that. So... This is the one we're going to select. The MSRP starts at $55,700. Let's move on to our exterior choices. Okay, so you only have one wheel selection, so these are the wheels that we get. And here are our paint selections. you got a solid black. You've got a midnight silver metallic. You have a deep blue metallic. It's a $1,500 option, as is the midnight silver. Looks like, I think, I guess black is the only color included that doesn't cost you more money then there's a pearl uh, a pearl white multi-coat and that's two thousand dollars and then there's the red multi-coat for twenty five hundred dollars let's get the red multi-coat for twenty five hundred dollars we only have one wheel selection so we're going to do these 20 inch performance wheels and let's move on to the interior okay so your interior it says what show details all right, yeah, here we go. This was the stuff that we already read about already just a second ago, the standard stuff, your standard features for the interior. So you can get it in either in black or you can get it in white. And I'm not going to do white. It's a $1,000 option, and that's not why I'm not choosing it. I just like the black leather, so let's do that. We're going to do the black leather. And do we want the five-seat model or the seven-seat model? Seven seat model will cost us an additional three thousand dollars to add that third row. I think I'm going to skip it because I don't need it at this point in my life. But now you know how much it costs in a Model Y. It costs three thousand dollars to add that seven seat, that third row option. All right, let's move on to the autopilot uh, features. Okay, autopilot. Right, it says all new Tesla cars come standard with driver assistance features such as emergency braking collision warning, and blind spot monitoring. Now, this autopilot feature, it's a $3,000 option, and it's a $4,000 option if they had to add this to your car after they deliver it to you. But the autopilot features enable your car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically for other vehicles and pedestrians within its lane, and it has full self-driving capability. Right now, oh, that's a whole other option there. That's a whole other option. So the autopilot is $3,000. Boom, we're going to grab that. And then there's the full self-driving capability. That's $5,000. And if you do it after they deliver the car, now they're going to charge you $7,000 for it. So you best get it done now if you want it and you have the money. At any rate, here's what it does. Navigate on autopilot, automatic driving from highway on-ramp to off-ramp, including interchanges and overtaking slower cars. Auto park, so you can both parallel and perpendicular park. It, you can summon this car. And it can recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs, automatic driving on city streets. That's pretty hot. 
So you're looking at eight grand in autopilot features here if you're going to go all in. And, you know, what's the point of getting a Tesla if you're not going to get all the autopilot features? I mean, that's kind of the point, isn't it? All right, so we went through the whole building price. Now they're at the point where they're going to tell you to cut us a check. They tell you that here's how you got to do this. They want you to send them $2,500, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. That's how you get the process going on, on ordering one of these. Over here on our far right is a little bit of a build summary. And we can see that the cash price is sixty-six thousand. I'm sorry, the purchase price is seventy thousand dollars. Basically, they got some details to show down here. They show what's all included. And due to day, if you wanted to continue with the car, is there a way to? Nope, doesn't look like there's a way to download the build summary. So you see what it is? Yeah, that's it. That's the Tesla Model Y. Interesting little vehicle. I guess a reasonable amount of money for Tesla because a lot of them are expensive. Like I was saying, I did the 2019 Model X 100D, and it costs a lot more than $70,000, I tell you that. All right, so we've made it to the end. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you've made it to the end with me, you're awesome. You rock. Now, please go watch my other videos, my Tesla videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. Other than that, you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next Building Price Review.